Ja, einen wunderschönen Tag. Viktor, 60 Minuten. Wir fangen an zu interviewen. Und neben mir sitzen die... How do I spell your name, your band name? Mama Zetz. That are apes? Hm? Are that apes? Uh, no, Mama uh, Set. So it's spelled with yeah, the S. But we did what, the spelling mistake. Mama Set is like these tiny little monkeys. <laughs> and yeah. they're crazy. We actually met one once because we did a photo shoot um, with Kerrang. It was our very first photo shoot. And we kind of seen Google images of a marmoset monkey, but we didn't realize like how small they are. They're like tiny monkeys. And sometimes you can get marmoset monkeys with like huge lion manes. They just bounce around the room. They're like nuts. But yeah. We went to this yeah. house near, it wasn't far from where we live actually. And they had a marmoset monkey. And the magazine obviously got in touch with them to do a shoot with, this, with their pet. And we were in there, we went into their living room, it's just jumping around the room. Just on, on your shoulder. It's like crazy. We had to try and get these pictures done. You just called ranch. Land, yeah. After Monkey Ranch, because of Food Ranch. Fighters. Right, yeah. <laughs> I would love to... Uh, who are you? Who am I talking to? I'm Becca. <laughs> That's Becca? Yeah. That's Becca. Hi. Okay. <laughs> this is Jack. That's Jack, yeah. Um, We're two of Mama's Ets. Yeah. I was totally surprised. I didn't know you. Just, I think, three days ago. And, hey, can you... Do you have time for an interview? I said, oh, no. But then he uh, posted me uh, music. And you were like, Dave, okay, then. <laughs> And, uh, Wow. Thank fucking you. good music. Thank I love you. that. Yeah. I was Thank astonished. You. because I had to get used to it. And uh, in a way, I haven't heard something like that. You do something really crazy, really in, in a good way. And it's, uh, as we said before, I'm normally we, uh, I'm not allowed to mention this, but um, I was allowed to listen to your album this morning. Awesome. And there are two tracks. I said, well, within two tracks, there are 40, 50 years of rock music. Everything you can find. It's a bit punk in it. You don't think about it if you write music to just play mm -hmm. what you know. Yeah. But everything is in there. It's a melange of everything. And there are no rules for you. You mix and you just have a wonderful rhythm. And it goes into metal with your kind of single and still is rock. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how we do co it. a we compliment. Do it. Thank Wonder well, yeah, a thank wonderful you. Yeah, I mean, thank, thank you. So you. It's sort of thank in you. our DNA, I guess. We li we've listened to so many different types of music, different types of rock music, loads of different bands over the years. And I guess. Each one kind of has a subtle effect on you and the way you write, even if you don't know it sometimes, you know. There's bits where you're playing just three chords and it's like heavy as hell and you're like, and you listen to like Ramones and you're like, it's like almost like that, but it's not like something we instinctively do. It just sort of happens in a sense. And like, so like It's in our blood. <laughs> do you know yeah, what I mean? And there's, like and there's a lot of influence from even like dance music as well, which you can kind of subtly hear, but not really. Just like the rhythms, like you say, and the grooves are kind of like, That's sort of stuff that you hear like Justice do or stuff like that or almost like Chemical Brothers in places where it doesn't sound anything like us but that's sort of what's influenced mm -hmm. it in a way. So we take influence from lots of stuff yeah. and sort of stuff that people might not expect as well at times. My brother Josh the drummer, the, the rhythm master, the he's, master he's, rhythm. So, he's so gifted on the drums. Like he's absolutely amazing. He's one of my favourite drummers. I'm not just saying that because I'm his big sister but yeah. like I just, we're so lucky to have in a way it's yeah. family business two families yeah, yeah. Yes, brothers right. and sisters yeah, yeah. and uh, you met in 2007 if i'm right yeah yeah that's mm -hmm. when the when we first started it was like december 2007 we started the band in your living room in a little town in just a little, little terraced house my mum like you literally you'd come into the front door and the living room's there and we'd set up all our instruments <laughs> my mum's mad for letting <laughs> us do that yeah. our neighbors hated us <laughs> That's a, a perfect moment. What's the name of the CD? The album. Um, oh, it's the new album. Know, knowing What You Know Now. In called. 2018, it will be released. And Knowing What You Know Now, would you do anything differently? Or would you do the same thing? And no, it, it, It's a kind of be. dream for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I you'd have to do the same thing. Otherwise, the album probably wouldn't be called that, in a way. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's sort of, we went through all that to get to this point, and it's made us better people. Um, I mean, it's a better band, I think, as well, actually. So it's sort of, yeah, it was rough, but it was like worth it, you know, to get to this point, look back on it and go, oh, we're here, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, it was just sort of a fitting title, we felt. And it's sort of. Super stoked. Yeah, the phrase came up in a conversation. We were like, we think we should use that, you know. 
It's a very unique sound. It's your kind of music. And how did you get the idea in the beginning when you started? Did you just m m talk to another? Hey, I, I love to uh, start a band, and uh, I want to play this. Or it, it's just worked out. You never thought about that, and, and it just happened. This it, kind it of music. It literally just happened. I met Sam in school, and we both, play guitar. we both play guitar, and that's where our friendship sort of blossomed, I guess. And yeah. We sort of just hang out loads and started playing guitar with each other. And then we're like, we should, you know, we should maybe start a band or something. We'd like been in like little bands with like, I was in like a band with my brother when I was like 10. Doing like white me and stripe him. covers. Yeah, literally just playing like white stripes covers and stuff like that. And then he was like, maybe we should start a band or something, you know. And he was like, okay, cool. Well, I know a really good drummer. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And it's his brother. I was like, sick. And he's like, I know a really good singer as well. I was like, okay, who? Um, oh, it's my sister. Like, okay, cool, <laughs> like, that, that, that's easy, you know, and then my brother joined and then kind of just went from there. It's, it, we've just always just rolled with it. There's never been yeah. any massive sort of intention to... But we did kind of get put together in school, yeah. so... Well, that was the thing, there was a, like a, um, a sort of thing came up with a music teacher, basically, um, and he was like this sort of, oh, if you, you know, do you want to start a band type thing? It was almost like a not like a manager role, but kind of like a person that worked in music before. And he was like, he was you know, a guitar teacher. he was teaching classical guitar. I have to say thank you to him. Yeah. yeah Chris right. Marks. Thank Chris you Marks, so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. He's a good man. So he was like kind of that. And then he sort of set up these rehearsal things within school. So we sort of like our first gigs were in school assemblies and stuff. We literally yeah. had quite rock school. Weird. Like we started rock school. <laughs> like that's it was like the school of rock. Yeah. It was like, the school <laughs> of rock, literally. <laughs> like, li like literally though, like we did gigs in assemblies and stuff and like the, like the end of year assembly, like we played as a band. And it was a bit sort of like strange, like in the assembly hall in school, in grammar school, so. And we got a lot of crap for that. Yeah. There was only a few like, people that were like, you're onto something here, guys. And other people were just like, you're <coughs> rubbish. You're never going to go anywhere. And you know, when people say that kind of thing, it makes you more determined. So it's like, we're going to be a band. <laughs> That's kind of what happened. Yeah, here we are. Well, it did happen. I'm uh, happy you're... Uh you were stubborn. You wanted to show them <laughs> what you can reach. And uh, honestly, I'm impressed. I'm impressed I didn't hear this kind of music. And I said, wow, it's so crazy. I love that. And I, in another interview I read to them, uh, England got a new female front uh, woman. Uh, honestly, okay, it's great what you do, but it's a, the whole thing. It's the whole thing. You're... You are in the perhaps for us you're in the middle of everything, but that only works out because the music yeah. puts you there. Mm -hmm. And that's what I said. Wow, that's great. Yeah. yeah. And there's something that we're so strong about. We are a band, you know, it's not just a female front of the band and it's all about me. Do you know what I mean? And I know people will will want to try and do that, but it's never gonna happen because we are a band and that's that's just how it is. And I'm just a singer and they're just musicians. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like that's it. It's yeah. just, that's the simplicity of it, so. Yeah, that, that, that's us, us journalists and we need stars and, and we, <laughs> we like to put someone in front of everything, but uh, that's why, I, yeah, I'm very, uh, Emotional when I love something, I can't stop. Wow, wow, are you? I'm, I'm kind of euphoric. Mm. Cool. Way. And uh, when I discovered your music, and oh, what's this? And uh, I like something fresh, new, and you don't look after rules what you have to do, what you don't have to yeah. do, just do your thing. And you're successful with that. Mm. I, I love that. Thank you. Song songwriting in the beginning to just start to play music how do you write your songs have your favorite place your favorite room or how do they develop or we've don't always been at jam and talk well, yeah we've, we've always been at the same band same rehearsal room for six seven years now so it's i mean it's different rooms within the rehearsal room but that's the place where everything stems but every song we write is written in a completely different way it starts in a completely different yeah. way we don't have a method there's no method we to kind the of madness. make it it's difficult for ourselves sometimes it's <laughs> like yeah, it's, it'd be, there's, say, there's songs where we're all sat in a room together and we come up with something all together, or there's stuff where Becca's got an idea of a melody and we put chords behind that, or I've got a riff, Sam's got a riff, we come together and do that, and then, so we have this, like, initial idea, we never know where that initial, originally sort of stems from, and then we get together, the five of us in a room, and then it all sort of gets finished and together happens, and everyone picks yeah. it, puts in there. Um, ideas and it all sort of gets stuck together that way. So it's it's never just like we're all in a room together every time. It's just all a bit mixed and then it all comes together and then that's how we've always done it. There's no real method to it. There's no like we don't sit by a piano and 
just like here's a song da 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 it's yeah. like we just don't know what happens sometimes you just sat in your living room you're like da 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 cool yeah you record that as a memo on your phone and then take it to the band it's rubbish or it's cool or whatever you know we're not precious <laughs> about anything either so yeah, if someone's precious, yeah. if say someone's got an idea and we're like oh, maybe we should tweak that it's not like no this is my song it's like cool yeah do it you know we're very open with what we write and how again, we write you're a band yeah again exactly and, and um It's good to be family in a way. It makes things much easier and much harder sometimes mm -hmm. as well. The one thing that I found hard is not getting too involved in everyone's problems. Because I always felt like I need to help, I need to solve it. I think it's more of like a mum role, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, and I've learned, I've learned not to get too involved and give, give the guys a space through their times and just learn that I'm here for them whenever and they'll come to me instead of me trying to like get involved and make sure everything's okay all the time so <laughs> i've had to have a, a lot more chilled approach but that just shows my love for them completely as well so um i guess that's it but at the same time it's all it's all we know mm -hmm. so it's like and we love the crap out of each other and we know by being honest and truthful and loving one another it makes our life so much easier yeah. so and you just enjoy it <laughs> so Yeah. You look happy. We can see that. It's, it's uh, what I said before. It's a kind of dream. You're allowed to live and uh, you do your music. You're allowed to make the living with what you love. And yeah. a lot of people don't have that. Freedom's important to us um, within everything that we do. So mm -hmm. I want to ask one of my standards. Every CD, every album is special. And for each of you, there's something different We say, I'm proud of that, I love that. And what is it for you? What is it for you? We say, look back. Well, for us, we, we don't know the album officially, uh, only next year, 2018. But for you, what is it where you're proud of? We say, oh, this is fantastic. And that worked out. So I like that part, this riff, uh, this vocals, whatever it is. I like that so much. Is there something where you're proud of? Whatever yeah, it is. Which song you're most proud of? Um, I guess. I'm proud of all of them because all of them are so different and I've got a different feeling and emotion connection to, to each song. But I think the proudest one for me is I'm always, I've always been quite an open person and people can ask me questions and I don't mind answering. I'm kind of like, I'll say, say yes to something or no. Do you know what I mean? It depends how I feel, especially on the day. Um, but I think the one that I'm most proud of is me and you because that's about my nana who died. And I think it's, it's quite difficult, I think, as an artist sometimes to be so vulnerable and to put stuff out there. Um, but for some reason, actually going through that experience, I prefer it. I like being able to share everything um, because I wish more people were like that with me. And I wish I had more um, music to listen to that was like that. So, you know, because I'm not into the whole bog standard, you know, I'm not, I don't diss pop music, but it's not my taste, you know. I like real, I like hearing real stories and yeah. real adventures of people's um, lives. And so that's what I connect with. And I was, I was really happy that I was able to do that. And yeah. But then the Before I come to you, sometimes um, it's hard, it, it hurts if you're one, but... Uh, it can do. It, but it allows you to do things you w wouldn't be able of doing otherwise. No. And it's such a, a relief, you know, the whole process of being an artist is being able to get stuff out there that's all in here. Uh -huh. <laughs> And that's, that's the way, you know, from a young age when we first started, we were a lot more heavier and I'd guess more met metally and punky and the aggression was always there and for me to get on stage and just go do you know what I mean was like that was my release and now I've learned to be able to do that in a lot of different way and mm. I, I don't know it's just yeah I will come back to this but before I want to be proud of is there something on this new city where you say wow I'm proud of that that we made it or I love that what is yeah there's there's a lot of moments as well in there rather than just individual songs. There's like there's like moments where the song Insomnia is a bit of a chilled on and there's like strings on it. Yeah. And we never thought we'd done be by like that a proper yeah. string orchestra. And you sort of we never got to meet any of the people that did that, but then you just you imagine, you know, it's like this big group of people all playing violins and strings and everything. You're like, it's all that for our song. It's like, whoa. Do you know what I mean? Like you see <laughs> other bands where they have these string yeah. sections and you're like, whoa and then We got to have that, and it's like, 
It's a bit of a sort of pinch me moment. Like, was it an it's amazing. Or was it just one girl that was just doing all the pieces? With loads of people performing. Was it? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So it's like. <laughs> Damn it. I wish they filmed that for us. It's <laughs> so cool to see. Maybe so it's, we can do that live. So one day. stuff like that, yeah, and even like that is an achievement, I think. You I know. think as well, being able to hear our album over again and again ourselves and we're starting to see like where it could take us and you know like for instance that song the strings like you can just picture us like on a big stage at a festival and then suddenly the string orchestra comes on and starts playing the song with us it's like you know it's like it's like we've put everything in place for hopefully big things to come and that's because we've gone in confident with it do you know what i mean so yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. A constant, let's say, evolution, step yes. by step, and s- you have to plan certain things. Yeah, otherwise, you do. it w- wouldn't work out. Mm-hmm. And uh, but normally, it's for the tool, the, the things you need. The sound has to be perfect. The guitar has to be perfect. Everything, but uh, the rest is just it happens. Yeah, yeah. This is hard, and we never know what's going to happen. But no, as long as we're staying positive <laughs> about it, then <laughs> it's like <laughs> we're kind of more on the level of not quite knowing what's going to happen <laughs> most of the time. If we would knew what, what will happen, we wouldn't sit here. No. no. We would be rich and be somewhere I don't know. And uh, on the other hand, uh, surprises. There wouldn't be any surprises. Did you uh, try the song out in some, in, on stage? Did you, uh, we haven't played it live yet, no. We've actually only ever um, rehearsed that song like twice since recording it. Um, so that's one we're hopefully going to be playing, I think, on the next tour. We'd like to try that out we sort of wanted to save it for sort of a bit of a because the last two tours we've done in the UK the sort of underplay ones have been quite small venues you sort of want to save a song like that it's quite slow and big you want it to be in a bigger venue and have a bit have more its, atmosphere it's going to have its place and moment for it do you know what I mean yeah we've sort so. of saved that and we've done the sort of heavier ones I guess the sort of more upfront ones in the smaller venues they sort of fit better for the venue and that's what I sort of like about what we do in that sense is that we can have a set list for a venue in a sense if we're playing this big old hall or whatever, we'll do more of a slow, jammed out set. If it's in a small punky venue, we'll play a small punk show. Do you know what I mean? Like that's sort yeah, yeah, of where so we work. We can play. We can do what we want with it because we've got all the tools for it. So it's like. Yeah, I think that yeah, this, the music doesn't sound the same every uh, every time. It depends where you are and what you said. Um, aggression. You are changing, and and in the beginning it was aggression. It's a good way. You have to, you can punch somebody or you can go on out on stage and thing, but yeah, things developed. It, it, it's got a different value, everything for you. And and making music, it's not the only way. Uh, in Germany, the event uh, where you can let it out, you open it and psh, yeah. steam goes out and you close it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's that changed a lot for you. If I listened right, yeah, um, I guess just the older I've got and the more I've learned and <laughs> you're older. <laughs> The That's older nice. that I've got, the older <laughs> that I've got, and I don't know, I've just found more respect for my well-being and everyone else's, I guess, and I'm in a lot more happier place. Like, hmm. I feel like I'm the Becca I've always supposed to be. Okay. Like, so. Now I have to sound very good. Music is a healer. It's all old, old Completely. blues. Completely. And uh, <laughs> what I just sorry for my questions now, but I thought. If you let this aggression out and helps you, and uh, music is a wonderful tool, it's a wonderful oh, medicine. It's the best. And and uh, I didn't didn't don't know your first CD so far. I know a few songs, but not the whole CD. And uh, when I was listened, like in some years, there was another track. It started out slow. I was very surprised. Mm-hmm. I didn't think no, what's that? I didn't expect that at all. I like it. Yeah, that's. I like it, but I was completely taken by surprise. The sort of what we've always been. We surprise ourselves. Like <laughs> about, yeah, we d- we don't we don't limit ourselves on what type of song anything should be or a specific genre, say. So. Because we're the writers of it, it's coming from us, no one else. Do you know what I mean? So it's Just like one day we want to write a slow song and we'll make it really chilled, or one day we want to write a fast song or whatever. But we've sort of we've always been a band where we're constantly evolving and changing and constantly sort of su- wanting to surprise the listener as well I think you know it's not for us we're not just like right we're in a rock band everything needs to be a rock song it needs to be at this tempo it's just like we'll come up with something and just roll with it it could sound like another band maybe but then yeah. when we get it all together and Becca sings on it it starts sounding like us instantly so we're sort of lucky in that aspect I think but we will write songs that are super chilled or weird or bouncy or heavy you know it, 
it doesn't matter. It, it's really fun. For you us. don't plan that. No. Yeah, <laughs> it just happens, and you like the song or you don't like it. Yeah, exactly. It go, goes away. You forget about the song. Another idea that just popped up. Um, if I listen to you to your music, it sounds whatever it is. It's very wild. It's up and down, and you takes me here and there. But still, it sounds organic. Let me say it this way. Wow. And I have uh, you know each other for a very long time. Family business. There's another live band. For me, that's the greatest rock and roll live band. I knew it's a father, the brew. They come from a very small English town, father, son, and a friend. And it's incredible what they do live. They won't sell millions of CDs, but they're one of the best rock and roll live bands. There are other bands. Sometimes it's very important this uh, to be relaxed and then you can play in another way. Very often bands have problems within the band and in the different characters and... I never thought about it, and just at that moment when, when I was listening to you talking to you, I was just the idea came. It's really good to um, to have a family. It's, it makes everything smooth and in a way very easy. Yeah. yeah Only yeah. if it doesn't work <coughs> out, then it will be very very hard. Yeah, yeah. But we know, we just know. We n it's like we know how it is if we let our insecurities and problems get in the way and not resolve anything. What good is that going to do? There's no good in it. You know, bands end up breaking up and relationships lost. And for us, I think family is so important. You know, whether people don't have a mum and dad or brothers and sisters, you know, you can find family, which is friends. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> They can be your family. And it's just about being truthful and honest with each other. And that's how you end up having the best relationships and happiness is there. And that's yeah. that's the key with mom and dad, so. yeah. You're still young enough. Mum and dad in the beginning. What did they think about that, and how how do they react now? How does it see your families at home? Really? Oh, they have been so supportive of us. I mean, like in the early days, it'd be like your mum or my dad would drive us all five of the band with all our gear in a in a car to a venue. You know, middle of nowhere, we'd turn up and there'd be a man and a dog it was and a barmaid, and we'd play for people like that, and they've been there since then. They've always seen that we've wanted to do that, and. They saw We've been looking at had potential. You know, our yeah, parents and they've supported the kind us of parents massively. that would be like if they knew we weren't talented in it yeah. and they would tell us, you know, they'd be like, Right, you need to go find what you you're supposed to do. Do you know what I mean? But it was never like that from day one, like you say, we were performing in front of a guy with a dog, the barmaid and our mum and dad. Like that was it. And we were happy then. And I think they just saw potential in us and they've always said that to us. They were like They've always said to us, we think you're going to go far. We think you can have a chance in this. And it's like, you can't get better support than that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful last words for this moment, for this interview. I just got uh, the sign, hey, you have to stop. And <laughs> it was a pleasure meeting you. And, and, you, uh, and you. It went out completely. <laughs> I completely changed my plan. I completely changed my question. But thank you very much. It was no. very interesting listening to you. And, and if I look into your eyes, You're shining, the eyes are shining, and so something is really, really right what you're doing. Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. <laughs>